हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो माई सेल्फ प्रशांत प्रजापति फाउंडर ऑफ वेदांत्रिक टेक्नोलॉजीज वेदांत्रिक टेक्नोलॉजीज इज अ मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंटिफिक इक्विपमेंट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी और अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दी एन विल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू मैट हैव सीन माई वीडियो ऑफ रिबाउंड हैमर हाउ टू वॉट इज रिबाउंड हैमर हाउ टू यूज रिबाउंड हैमर वॉट आर दी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिबाउंड हैमर now in this video we are going to see how to check the calibration of rebound hammer every equipment need to be checked before uh, uh, testing or before operating so in the same way to check uh, the calibration of rebound hammer like this is a rebound hammer to check the calibration of rebound hammer we need to check it before using like uh, uh, how we will check now see this is and will we will uh, apply it inside the uh, and will we will operate it and if your rebound hammer will give 80 plus minus 2 Uh, in the in this anvil then uh, your rebound hammer is working properly now there are two different things one is rebound number which is uh, related with the uh, scale which is given in the rebound hammer now other thing is hrc that is hardness uh, that is a scale of hardness so hrc number is 66 that is related with the anvil so your anvil if your anvil as per the is 516 anvil should have hardness of hrc 66 plus minus 2 that means from 64 to 68 uh, the hardness of anvil should be then your rebound hammer will give you 80 plus minus 2 now 80 plus minus 2 is nowhere written in the is standard it is there in the literature or the catalog of the manufacturer of the rebound hammer so suppose prosec is giving 81 plus minus 2 now we vedantrik technologies our rebound hammer is giving 80 plus minus 2 there are some different company also who has a uh, different rebound numbers or a different type of scale in their rebound number uh, or rebound hammer so those rebound hammer will give different uh, values but till now or till date i have seen only uh, such kind of rebound hammers which can give 80 plus minus 2 on the anvil of hardness hrc 66 plus minus 2 now let's understand about the hardness now uh, suppose i have three materials one is uh, steel other is uh, glass and third is the concrete all can have same uh, uh, hardness but all three will not have the same strength uh, every material has a, its different property suppose glass is a harder material but it will not have the same strength steel have the Uh, same hardness but it will have higher strength concrete will have same hardness value but it will have uh, medium strength now why i explained you about the hardness because sometime people think that uh, or sometime they ask me the question that uh, your anvil is having hardness of hrc 66 uh, and your rebound um, rebound hammer is giving 80 plus minus 2 on your anvil then what is the strength of your uh, anvil they relate this hardness with the co concrete understand this anvil is made up of the steel or uh, or uh, different grade of the steel so uh, at hrc 66 it will have very much higher strength right and if even if your concrete will have same hrc 66 uh, type of hardness it will not give you the same kind of strength so it is not uh, the thing to relate uh, uh, means you cannot uh, compare the uh, strength of this uh, uh, anvil with the concrete the uh, anvil is only to check the calibration of rebound hammer means it has hardness some hardness at this hardness uh, your uh, rebound hammer should give you 80 plus minus 2 because hrc 66 that much of hardness is not possible to achieve on the concrete that's why we use steel anvil we are not using concrete so let's uh, little bit discover discuss about the pricing so uh, if we'll go very higher brand like prosec and also the costing is uh, near about lakhs of rupees and as you decreasing the brand the co uh, the cost you know start decreasing there are some vendor who gives uh, uh, annual at a cost of 25000 rupees also what they do is basically they do not harden the complete anvil and they only uh, harden small part of uh, metal and they fit it inside here and that's why they can give at 25000 rupees but understand that uh, that is not a very perfect anvil to get a perfect anvil Uh, the complete uh, metal should be the complete anvil should be hardened understand that a simple basic a small uh, simple steel cannot achieve the hardness of hrc 66 because as the material's hardness is increasing its brittleness also increasing so a uh, special type of steel is required to achieve the hardness of hrc 66 and uh, when you will calculate the only cost of material that is only uh, can uh, you know go up to 35000 rupees because 
special uh, steel a uh, special grading steel because the uh, the uh, weight of this uh, anvil is only uh, near about 14 to 16 kg so if you we'll calculate the only material cost uh, of 14 to 16 kg it goes near about 35000 rupees so we should not go very lower price we should not go very higher price we should just uh, focus whether the uh, the com uh, the complete anvil should be hardened and uh, it should have a uh, annual testing report of uh, hrc 66 plus minus 2 because as per is 516 uh, you need hrc 66 and uh, there should be a annual report for uh, taking your rebound hammer uh, testing in the annuals